Are you torn whether to buy a real round trip ticket for your Schengen visa application? Well, I don't want you to take the risk of losing big amount of money. So let me provide you the best option that you can do. So keep on watching this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. No matter which country embassy you're going to apply for your Schengen visa, they always ask for the same requirement. And one of the most important requirements is to show a round trip ticket uh, going to the Schengen area and going back to the Philippines. So, bakit nga ba kinakailangan na magpakita ng round trip ticket kahit na wala naman kasiguraduhan na i-approve ng embassy yung application nyo? Well guys, the embassy would like to ensure na yung proposed date or yung date na nilagay niya sa application form nyo, yung date ng arrival, departure, or yung number of days na magstay kayo sa Schengen area is true. So they will base that by looking at your round trip ticket. And this is their way as well to make sure that you will not stay illegally in the Schengen countries. Because again, Europe is having an immigrant crisis and they're trying their best to minimize that. And I've been receiving a lot of questions whether they should buy a real a real ticket or should they just reserve a ticket or avail that dummy ticket. Um, well, based from my experience, it is way better to just get a dummy ticket or reserve a ticket under your name. Because when I first applied, I bought a real ticket going to Greece and then going back to the Philippines and it cost me a lot of money. I mean, hindi naman ina-advise ng embassy na kailangan yung ipapakita nyo na ticket is a real ticket. If you will notice, sa lahat ng uh, website ng mga embassy, they always said that uh, it's just ticket reservation. So, with me, uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that probably thinking the same thing that if you have a real ticket, there is a higher chance that your application will be approved. And on my, the first time I applied for my visa, I was also thinking the same thing. So, of course, I have the real ticket and baka approve na ako ng embassy kasi syempre manginginay lang sila sa pera na nag ko. But then again, guys, they don't care how much you already spent with everything. Wala silang pakailam doon. So, when my application was denied, it, I was so broken-hearted. Broken-hearted na broke pa. Kasi nasayang yung pera na ginastos ko for my ticket. And I mean, I was just lucky that I was able to get a refund for like 70% of what I pay dun sa returning ticket ko. Pero yung ticket ko, going to Greece, I was not able to get even a single peso. So, bye-bye money na talaga. So, learning from that experience, I would advise you guys to just reserve a ticket or avail that dummy ticket to make sure na whatever happened to your visa application, whether you get denied or you get approved, uh, you, we will be able to make sure that you will not be wasting money just because you bought the ticket and then denied. Okay, so we go to another question. Ano ba ang pagkakaiba ng reserve, uh, ticket reservation at ng dummy ticket? Well guys, actually, there's no big difference about uh, reser uh, reser uh, ticket reservation or dummy ticket. Pareho lang siya na i-reserve -re yung seat under your name. But this is, of course, a difference niya sa real ticket. You're not going for to pay for the whole price. You're going to only pay for reserving it. And it's way, way, way cheaper than the real ticket. So, uh, the only difference is that for, uh, for reserving a ticket, and you you can do this uh, pag reserve ng seat through airline directly. Some airlines offer free, uh, uh, some airlines offer uh, reserved seating, some airlines uh, offer free seating. So please do avoid those uh, said that, okay, free seating uh, reservation. Uh, pag, pag nakakita kayo ng word na free, of course, there's the temptation na I will just avail this kasi mas better na free kesa sa may babayaran pa rin. I mean, those ticket is only a bit, uh, I'm not sure it will be valid for the time na pinaprocess yung visa nyo. So, pagdating sa ticket reservation that you can do directly from the airline, uh, it is only valid or will be under your name for a very short period of time, which is 
24 to 48 hours. So that seat is reserved for you until 48 hours. And how long do the console review or the, yeah, how long is the visa processing? It takes up to 15 days. So if the B, if the ticket is only under your name for 48 hours, on the day na review ni console do uh, application nyo, let's say sobrang dami ng applicant and they were only able to review your application on the 48. And then they check the ticket. And in that ticket, there is a flight number and then your details. Once they check that, it will be no longer under your name. And probably that uh, the uh, flight has been uh, cancelled or done already. So it can be a possible reason. Or ito na yung, yun yung isa sa mga reason bakit madi-deny yung application nyo. Kasi invalid na yung ticket nyo. So we go to the last option which is getting a dummy ticket and for me again this is the best option to get para ipakita sa application nyo so nowadays hindi na mahirap kumuha ng dummy ticket kasi there are travel agencies that offer that and then meron din mga travel site mga trusted site na nag offer ng uh, dummy ticket the good thing about dummy ticket is that it offers longer uh, validity no ticket under your name um, most of them offer 14 to 15 days. So I would advise na make sure nyo muna dun sa travel agency or pag, if you're going to get it in a travel site, you can um, chat with a customer service kung ang ticket ba na yun will be uh, valid up to 15 days. I think maximum na yung 10 to 14 days which is good enough kasi 15 days na nga yung visa processing. And I would uh, if you go, I'm going to have some link ng mga trusted website where you can uh, purchase a dummy ticket because I don't know any travel agency and I think mas mahal pag kumukuha ka sa travel agency. So, um, may mga uh, website or may mga link ako dito sa description and they offer different prices. They, off they even offer uh, hotel bookings together with the dummy ticket. So, kayo nang bahala mong maybe doon. On the website, uh, they will ask you when are you going to apply for your visa application. And then from there, dun sila magbe-base kung ano yung um, ticket or yung date ng flight na kukuno nila. So mag-match siya dun sa application nyo. And then, uh, since... And then I would advise to purchase the dummy ticket, uh, let's say two days before your application. Let's say, kompleto mo na lahat ng requirements and everything, tapos bukas or the next day, yung application mo na, yung appointment mo na. That's the right time for you to purchase the ticket. Kasi, uh, yung validity will be good enough dun sa span ng processing time. Uh, for dummy ticket, there is a minimum fee na kailangan mong bayaran. It's not free again, but then again, if you're going to compare it to the original price ng mga ticket, it's really cheap. Malaki na yung masasave mo. Madinide ka man, hindi ka ganun maghihinayang. So, I have here a picture kung ano yung itsura ng ticket na marireceive nyo. So, this is the dummy ticket that I used before. So, hindi ko na kasi makita yung ginamit ko for Schengen. So, ang ticket na... So, this ticket, I think I used as ongoing ticket going to Thailand. So, dun sa dummy ticket, makikita yung um, name mo na magmamatch sa passport mo. And then, yung itinerary, yung flight number, and yung, yeah, yung flight number, which is most of the time, yan yung chinecheck ng console. So, yeah, everything is there and these are valid. This is legit only for a specific period of time. So, again, you can see here samples of how it will look like and ito din yung marireceive nyo. So, again, getting a dummy ticket for me is the best option para gamitin nyo sa visa application nyo. When, if, just in case na in doubt pa rin kayo, just because dummy ticket is baka hindi siya real ticket. Uh, if in doubt kayo or hindi nyo alam paano kumuha or hindi nyo magets yung process dun sa mga uh, website na nasa description ko, you can still always get a travel agency that offer that. But again, siguraduhin nyo lang to mention to them na kailangan yung time or yung validity of the ticket will be good up to 14 days. And if you still have questions regarding dummy ticket na hindi ko na mention or you wanted to make sure if the ticket that you're getting is 
uh, good to consider sa application nyo. That's, again, dun sa website na nasa description ko, uh, may meron dong um, uh, part ng site na makikipag-usap kayo sa customer service. And that's free, so better to use that. And they can guide you through the process. They can explain different packages that they offer. And again, you can also confirm to them how long is the validity of the ticket. So guys, again, sa mga nagtatanong, if it, you should have a uh, round trip ticket already sa pag apply ng visa, the answer is yes, you should have a round trip ticket. But then again, it, it does not need to be a real ticket. You just need to have a ticket reserved under your name and that would be by getting a dummy ticket. And that's it. I hope that this short video helps answer most of your questions. So guys, if ever uh, you need help uh, in making your cover letter, uh, sponsorship letter, invitation letter, or even help making your itinerary, I do offer writing services and services in making your itinerary and everything na kasama doon. Um, you can check my website here. I'm also going to have the link in the description and I have all the services that I offer there and uh, you can check that out. So if ever you need anything, you need help with this and that, you can message me directly there. And if you have further questions, um, I would suggest to join my Facebook group at, where I post uh, daily um, tips and recommendations and blogs regarding your Schengen visa application. So yeah, um, join that or message me directly, send me questions on email and I'll do my best to answer. It might take time because it's a lot of questions and I'm really thankful for your trust. And I'm thankful for subscribing. And if you're new to this channel and you're not yet a subscriber, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell button to be updated of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you soon. Bye!